Good morning, I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now coming to you from our digital desk. We have some brand new video from the Canton Police Department. This was a murder investigation tomorrow, or I'm sorry, yesterday morning. Uh, this murder investigation uh, moved extremely quick. It was at about 5.35 uh, in the morning that a man was shot and killed on Duber Avenue uh, in Canton, Duber Avenue Southwest. Uh, the Canton Police Department immediately started investigating and uh, used some of the technology in that area. Uh, the man who was shot was shot in the throat. He did not survive, was pronounced dead at Altman Hospital. Uh, he, uh, the video that the police got was very detailed and they were able, able to develop a suspect very quickly. Again, this happened yesterday morning at about 5 a.m. And a little bit later that day, you're about to watch the Canton SWAT team swarm on a house. And this house was also on Duber Avenue. Just looks like, uh, based on the addresses, about a block away from each other. Uh, and you're about to watch them swarm this house with a SWAT team as they try to take in Jamari Harper, 22 years old, but he doesn't want to go quietly, and you're about to see all of this on some of the most clear surveillance video I have seen. Take a look. I'm going to take the banner down. Here comes the SWAT team. Also notice this uh, red car that is just uh, sitting at this intersection. Uh, unbeknownst to them what's about to happen, it looks like they even back up into that gray car and hit it. Uh, but more and more officers arriving, weapons drawn, as they are there to take into custody, uh, this Jamari Harper. Keep an eye towards the back of the house as he's going to jump out of a second story window on the back and take off on foot. Uh, the city controlled camera is going to see his attempt to run. He falls once, I believe he even falls a second time or he loses a flip flop and you're about to see the canine take off. Canine goes in a little bit the wrong direction uh, and then we do know that Jamari Harper uh, tried to hop another fence. He was taken into custody a short time later. Take a look at the video again. Jamari Harper that's going to jump out of the back of this home on Duber Avenue Southwest in Canton. He has now been charged with murder, felony assault, and aggravated robbery, as well as having a weapon under a disability. That means he was a felon in possession of a firearm also charged with receiving stolen property. This suspect, Jamari Harper, also has a warrant out of Cuyahoga County for an unrelated uh, crime. Uh, he has warrants in Cuyahoga County for aggravated robbery, two counts of robbery, two counts of abduction, grand theft auto, aggravated theft, failure to comply with law enforcement. Uh, so you can see why a young man at 22 years of age, Jamari Harper, may want to run uh, again, innocent until proven guilty, uh, but facing some serious charges. Going to play this again. It's only uh, about 50 seconds long as you see the immense amount of police force that uh, moves in to make this arrest. Again, it was earlier yesterday morning, about five in the morning, that Harper is accused of going to a home on this same street and at that front door uh, shooting a victim in the neck. Uh, that, ne uh, that victim has not been named. Uh, he was unresponsive and uh, was pronounced dead at the Altman Hospital at 527. And this is the arrest of the alleged suspect. You see the Suspect right there actually try to, or he jumps a fence right there at that blue house. Uh, the canine unit gets uh, sort of stuck there at the fence uh, and they take the canine around the corner and arrest is made. Uh, let's show this again because it does happen. There's a lot of things going on uh, all at the same time. Uh, again, I thought it was interesting. This red car that realizes they are in a bad position here is going to back up and actually collide with that other gray vehicle uh, that had showed up to that scene. Uh, but there are a lot of officers. You can see the officer that got out of uh, the vehicle with the lights. Uh, they're all carrying some pretty high powered rifles. And there goes Jamari Harper out the back of the house, out of the back of the house. 
and uh, the pursuit ensues. Watch right here. He's going to jump a fence, decides right there, and it's right there. He jumps a small fence. Uh, the dog apparently gets a little bit hung up there, and the canine officer takes him around the corner to complete the arrest. Uh, he was taken into custody again. Uh, so, uh, a mountain of serious charges now for uh, Jamari Harper that he will have to face. Uh, just 22 years of age now in Canton is facing murder, felony assault, aggravated robbery, having weapons under a disability. That means he has a felony conviction uh, beforehand uh, had it been in possession of a weapon that's illegal. Uh, also felony assault, aggravated robbery uh, in this and receiving stolen property. And then on top of that, once he's finished facing charges in uh, this is in Canton, so Stark County, uh, he has warrants out of Cuyahoga County uh, for unrelated charges, uh, unrelated crimes, uh, aggravated robbery, two counts of robbery, two counts of abduction, grand theft auto, aggravated theft and failure to comply with law enforcement. I'm uh, going to show this video one more time in case you're joining this stream a little bit late here on our digital properties. Uh, this was a murder suspect. Uh, all of this very quick work uh, by the Canton Police Department. You have to hand it to them. Uh, the alleged uh, first shooting, uh, the victim that was shot in the neck happened at about five in the morning. He's pronounced dead at 527 at the hospital. And it is later that day that the suspect uh, after using uh, what Canton calls their police real time crime center. Uh, clearly that camera that we know uh, lots of cameras have been installed uh, throughout our communities. Uh, detectives were able to identify this suspect uh, Jamari Harper. They don't give us a time on when the SWAT team then moved in, uh, but it, it was clearly later that day at some point. Uh, take a look at the video again as SWAT moves in uh, multiple vehicles. There's obviously an undercover uh, police vehicle that's going to uh, unload some of its uh, undercover officers. Uh, you'll see another car going towards the back uh, and officers with their weapons. Again, this is an individual who was allegedly involved in shooting a man in the neck uh, just hours earlier. So they were clearly not going to be taking any chances uh, and there goes Jamari Harper out the back door. This is the first time I noticed somebody did actually come to the front door uh, during all of this. You see another undercover vehicle uh, swerving there, trying to get involved in this as he tries to make his escape. Uh, as we know, it did not work. Some serious charges now facing Harper, uh, and we will follow this case. Uh, again, we would love to identify, we would like to identify uh, the victim in this case, uh, to let you know who that was, uh, the Canton Police Department did not provide us with that information uh, at this time. If we have any other breaking news, when we get new video, when we get new information, we bring it to you here on our digital news desk. Uh, remember, at 1 o'clock today, there will be an update on that situation out of East Palestine, uh, the derailment and the subsequent burn off of those chemicals. Uh, there will be an update coming up at 1 o'clock today. Until then, I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now. Have a good afternoon. 19 News. First. Fair.